चैप्टर नंबर वन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन एटॉमिक मास यूनिट इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेड डिस्कस द यूनिट ऑफ एटम्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स हाउ टू वेयर देयर वेट्स एज यू नो दैट एटम्स आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल दे आर द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड द मैटर दे आर फॉर टेकिंग अ वेयर इन देयर वेट्स are so much and too much complicated and too much unbearable and difficult task even then scientists obtain uh, some weights by comparison for example in past during the time of dalton the unit of measuring the mass of an atom was taken as dalton and hydrogen was chosen as a standard for it at the time the weight of hydrogen was taken as 1 dalton unit later on they saw that some newly species of the same element of the same atoms the element was the same the atoms were the same but they were different with respect to their masses that is isotopes so the discovery of isotopes lead the scientists to rearrange and to respecify or to choose another standard instead of hydrogen atom because hydrogen was found then as 1.008 dalton unit when they found that carbon could be a better standard unit because carbon isotope 12 had 12.00 an exact figure so carbon was chosen as a standard as compared to hydrogen also carbon has also three isotopes carbon 13 carbon 14 and the average weight will be a little bit different from this but it is specifically the weight or the mass of a carbon 12 isotope 12.00 and when the carbon is not in compound form when the carbon is in ground state when it is free when it is not combined so this standard is taken as the mass of atom and this standard was called atomic mass unit abbreviated as amu here you see that carbon isotope has atomic mass 12.00 so the 12th part of it when it is divided by 12 we will get a single unit 1 amu it is the weight of a complete carbon atom it is not a single unit a single unit 1 amu which can be compared to a kilogram it is not the unit of mass exactly it is not a unit at, at all it is just a comparison between two masses the mass of carbon atom and then divided by the gram the mole so therefore an exact meaning it is not the, the unit of mass it is the unit of an atom in which atoms are weighed because atoms are very very small Since 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 carbon atoms equals to 12 gram, a mole concept, it is an order number as you know. Then we can calculate the mass of one carbon atom, which is 12 gram divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23, coming to uh, equal to 1.99 to 10 to the power minus 23 gram. here it is the mass of one carbon atom it is not a unit mass of one amu it is the mass of one carbon atom one amu can be calculated by if we divide both the sides by 12 why because the carbon atom has a mass of 12 amu it is 12 amu when 12 amu is divided by 12 we get one amu and this one amu equals to 1.99 to 10 to the power 23 divided by 12 which gives 1.67 to 10 to the power minus 
24 gram. This is an unbelievable infinitesimal mass that we cannot imagine for an atom because atom itself is so small and so 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 um, difficult to imagine. So how can we can we, we measure it? So these are an imagination. If we we can imagine, then we can think that the atom one the one AMU of any atom will be 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram. And this is a gram is considered as the unit of atomic mass. The unit of atomic mass. Since an SI unit, gram is not an international unit. Instead, we measure weights in kilogram or masses in kilogram. So, 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram. Therefore, we should convert this gram into kilogram. It can be done by then by dividing 1 AMU is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram divided by 1000 gram per kg. So, gram and gram are cancelled and we get 1. AMU is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power. If these three zeros are raised, <coughs> then add up to minus 24, becoming minus 27 kg. In kilogram, it is again a wonderful and amazing mass of 1 AMU. 1 AMU, no, it's very easy to accept the uh, mass of an atom. It is the 12th part of carbon and this 12th part of carbon is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Thanks for watching.